Welcome back to the Unstoppable Studio. 30 minutes of upper body and abs. Grab a set of medium weights and heavy weights and let's get that ash moving. All right, team, let's get this 30 minute workout started. Again, you have your medium and heavy weights off to the side. It is gonna be upper body. We're gonna focus on pushing, pulling, a little overhead pressing. We have some curls, so it's full body. And of course, there's gonna be a little bit of badass abs. Let's take this into our warm up, making sure that we're activating and opening up through that upper body, and then we'll get into our first strength set. Coming on down into a tall kneel, we're gonna go for our scarecrows. We've done these before. So hands are gonna go nice and wide, looking like a scarecrow. We're gonna reach those hands up overhead. We're gonna pull the elbows down, and then I want you to rotate. So we're gonna turn those palms to almost give a high five to the back of the wall. Again, rotate, keeping those elbows exactly where they are. Slide those hands up like you're sliding them on the back of a wall. Elbows come low. High five the back, try to keep those elbows high, really work on that internal rotation, external rotation, and then extending those hands overhead. All right, so again, we're gonna be working multiple muscle groups today. We're not focusing on just one, it is a full upper body day. We are gonna go for some weighted movements, non-weighted movements, there's gonna be a nice mix. As always, if you need to modify, you do you. 10 seconds to go. We'll take this and do some scat push-ups, so working on that protraction, retraction. Here we go, three, two, and one. All right, coming on down into our quadruped. Just keeping the arms, the arms are staying straight. We're just letting the chest fall through, touching the shoulder blades, pressing the ground away. Again, nothing new here. We've done these before. Letting your chest fall through, tapping the shoulder blades, and then pushing them all straight towards the ground. So we're just sliding our shoulder blades along our rib cage essentially. Ready? We're gonna take these into little circles now. So all I want you to do is think about that same thing where you're kind of pulling and pushing, but you're gonna move your shoulders in a circle clockwise position. Do a few there and then change it to counterclockwise. So your lower body kind of might move a little bit. There's no really right or wrong way to do it other than bending your elbows. Don't do a push up. Ready? Here we go, three. To taking it all the way down, T raises. So we're gonna lay on our belly. Hands are gonna go nice and wide. Turn your thumbs up, head stays down, yes? All right, good, head is down on the ground. And you're just gonna lift those thumbs up towards the ceiling, squeezing your tush, and then have a seat. And by having a seat, I mean set your hands on the floor. <laughs> so lift those arms up. Thumbs are up towards the ceiling. Again, we're in external rotation, right? So our thumbs are turning up, which means we're turning those shoulder blades out. So again, we're squeezing in that T raise, keeping the head down. <sighs> Big pull to the backs of those shoulders. So again, we're gonna push, we're gonna pull. We wanna make sure that we're hitting the shoulders in all angles as we warm up. After this, we're gonna flip it on over into a dead bug. Again, there's a little bit of core. Core always makes sense. Then our one plank in this warm up. Here we go. One more time, ready, set, and lift. Very nice. All right, flip it on over nice and quick into your dead bug. So knees are coming up in the tabletop. We are gonna move through this. So opposites are gonna attract here. Left arm, right leg is gonna extend out and then pull it back in. So fully extend those arms, opposite arm and leg out, keeping that lower back connected. I always say, imagine you're squishing a grape right underneath that back, flexing through your feet. Wanna keep those active angles the whole time. We still have another 20 seconds to move through this. I love it. The other day, so, um, I forget who it was now. One of, ooh, there's those abs. One of you was like, oh, I love it, Ash. I love when you add abs into almost every workout. And the reality is, every workout does have abs in it. Because <laughs> our core should always be working to stabilize. Here we go. Three, two, one. And all right, taking this into a high plank, we're gonna do a down dog or a pike into an arm reach. Now there's two ways to do it, right? So you can lift your hips up into your down dog as you come forward, then you can reach one arm forward. If you're feeling a little more spicy, you can lift up as you come forward, reach. Ooh, that one gets a little tough, so be cautious. You're kind of taking your hand off the floor and really putting it into one shoulder, so be careful with that. Again, pike position, down dog as you roll forward. Control, don't let those hips rotate. 20 seconds to go, then we're gonna get up and get ready for our first set. Again, there is gonna be a little bit of body weight push-up action going on, so I do want you to be prepared for that, all right? 
Here we go, 10 seconds to fight. Give me one more. And we are gonna come out of it. Ooh, yes, arms are nice and spicy. All right, 45 seconds, we're gonna get into our first set. We're gonna take this into a hand release push-up. We've done these before, lowering into our push-up, lifting the hands off the floor to engage the backs of our shoulders and then driving the ground away. We have a floor press, which means we're gonna use a heavy weight, laying it down in our back, working on that chest press, but on the floor, if you have a bench, you know you can use it. From there, we're gonna do a rotational hammer press. So 20 seconds, we're gonna get started. I do want you to see me do something. So the rotational hammer press, we're gonna squeeze our tush nice and tight. We're gonna press in a hammer, but I want you to twist your torso. Just want you to be ready for that one. All right, are you ready? Say goodbye to your arms. Here we go. <laughs> Releasing push up in three, two, one, and 40 seconds of work here. You got some time. So elbows are gonna go out at 45, down three, down two, down one. You're gonna lift your hands off the floor, right? You're engaging through your shoulders, and then you press that ground away. We are doing this set three times. <sighs> Lift, drive. So you do have some time to work on these. You don't have to rush. Three, two, one. I know they get tough. If you were doing these right on the knees, totally fine. But again, if you can do it on an elevated surface, you're not gonna be able to lift the arms, but maybe that just works for you today. All right, ready? Here we go. Five seconds, one more in. Nice. All right, flip it on over. Let's grab those weights and let's take it into that chest press. Giving you a few extra seconds to settle in. Knees are coming into tabletop. Weights are up. Again, brace through those abs and let's go for that floor press, A shape. If you want to challenge, I'm going to tap my heel to the floor, one heel at a time, keeping my knees bent. Just adding a little bit more core. Woo! Chest is going to work. Hopefully you guys are able to go kind of heavy on this one. Love a good floor press. Now, because we did that push up before, it primed this press, which means we're gonna feel this press sooner, which is exactly what we want. Exhale. Oh man, okay, come on, stay with this. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and okay, come on out of it. Now we're gonna come up with a lighter weight, all right? Notice I'm gonna to drop to a lighter weight because this one is gonna be a vertical press. So instead of going forward, we're going up, hitting different muscles. All right, weights are coming in. Also, it's a hammer press, let's go. Squeeze your tush nice and tight. You're gonna rotate, press. Now, I don't want you to completely turn to the side. So if you are thinking about on a clock, you're facing 12 o'clock. I want you to look at two o'clock as you press, come back down. Now, if the double weight gets to be too much, what you're gonna do is press to the, the opposite hand, right? So if you're gonna look to 11 o'clock, press your right hand. And then if you're gonna look to two o'clock, press your left. Again, one or two arms, whatever you're feeling. If you're starting to burn out, always go down to that one. All right, hold on to it. Ready? And woo, hello arms, weight's gonna go away. Have a seat into a boat pose. All right, here we go. So. Heels can stay on the floor in this, as always, that is an option. If you're taking the challenge and you wanna fully lift off, you can, we're holding. Now what we're gonna do is hands are reaching up and forward. I want you to take one hand, go overhead like a jack, bring it back. Other hand, reach it overhand, almost like you're doing a jumping jack, but it's like a single arm. <sighs> but it's gotta go wide, right? It's kinda of like this around the world. Now, we are doing one side at a time. Why do we do that? Because it throws our body off. If we do both arms, it is hard, but, it doesn't create that instability, right? Where we work in a different plane of motion with just one side and the other side's not moving. You have 10 seconds. Now the arms are gonna work a little as you reach this overhead, but no weight is in hand, so it should be okay. Four seconds, ready, set, and nice. Again, remember, you could drop those heels if you need to. Shake it out. Who's ready to go again? Quick rest in between. We are doing this three times through. It's only 30 minutes which means we have to do what? Get it in, get it done. Let's work those releasing push-ups. Don't worry, I got all the rows coming for you. Here we go, ready. Let's go, three, two, one. 40 seconds on the clock, lower for three, two, one. Hands come up, drive, squeeze the tush. Exhale, lean it in, right? Don't let yourself fall backwards. Woo. Now, I love the releasing push-up. It's gonna help us work that strength, a little bit on that eccentric. Motion, lowering down, three, two, one. Hands are gonna lift off to squeeze the backs of the shoulder blades for a second, and then we 
hit the ground and drive through that power. All right, final 10 seconds. Remember, if you wanna get one push up in, good. If you wanna get 10, great. Make sure they're good form. Three, two, one. All right. Remember, it's like a double, it's like a triple press we're going on here, right? So that one's gonna prime us. We're gonna get ready with that weight. Let's lay it down. Ooh, knees are in tabletop. I'm gonna drop one heel down. Ready, set, and go for it. Same motion, but now we're gonna continuously press. Woo, hitting that same muscle group as we did in that push-up, but now the weight is pulling down a little bit different. Woo. All right, final few seconds in this. Again, adding the heel drop just for a little bit of core. Can you give me a few more? A few more. Come on. This should be tough. Ready? Last one. And... Very nice. All right, weight goes down. <laughs> Come into that tall kneel. Grab those weights. Now remember, it's that rotational press, one or two arms at a time. <sighs> Ready, weights are up. You're in a tall kneel. Tuck the toes. Squeeze the tush. A little rotation. <sighs> press. Ooh, a little rotation. So we are going to work through that side body, those obliques, the strength in our core as it rotates. Tight through the glutes, tight through the toes. Keep that lower body engaged, even though we're taking out the lower body, which is why we're doing this tall kneel. We may have to make sure we engage through it so that that way we're really working from that core. Oh my goodness, arms. Here we go, ready, set, and oh my goodness, rest. Perfect, just in time we get those abs. Have a seat. Heels can hit the floor, right, if you want to. Hands are reaching and then you lean back. Option for the challenge, feet are off the floor, ready, set, and let's work. If you are balancing, you're balancing. One hand goes overhead, make it like a semicircle, like a jack. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna feel, I feel my arms doing this. Again, working different angles on the same muscles. 15 seconds. Oh, Lord. Yep. Final 10. If you breathe in, don't hold your breath. Use that breath. Six seconds. Stay in the fight. Come on, let's go. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, grab some water. We're not here long. We're not here long, but we're gonna be strong because of it. All right, your final time. Next round, we are going to work on the pull. Woo! Push-ups, five seconds. No, I told y'all we're moving fast. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh man, we've got this. Lower, three, two, hold the arms, press. Exhale. Ha. Use that breath. Woo, we struggle, we struggle together, am I right? Come on. Keep those legs engaged, keep that core engaged. Remember, your butt plays a role, even in push-ups. You gotta squeeze through that core, which your glutes are connected to. Five seconds, finish this one out. Ready, set, okay. Flip it on over onto the floor. Grab that weight. Taking it into that wide press, I'm giving you a little extra transition time through these, because I know we're going back to back with muscle groups. Ready, set, palms are up. And let's go. My knees are in tabletop. Drop one heel down. We love a floor press, y'all. We love a press. All right. We are coming up Woo, on that halfway point in class. Again, we're only working for 30 minutes. So we have to make sure that we get every rep in, every Second in this workout counts, even those recoveries. Speaking of, one's coming up in just a little bit. Give me one more press if you've got it. One more. Woo, weight down. Carefully set it down. Come up into your tall kneel position. Taking that weight into that tall kneel. Let's hit that press. Ready? Weights are up. Tuck the toes if you can and 
rotate, hit that one arm press. One arm press. Woo! Longer intervals on this first strength set. So we have one, we have more moves. Two, we're gonna go for a little bit longer. Next round, we're gonna work some rows. I gotta be honest, they're gonna be single arm. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm with y'all, come on. We fight, we fight together, we struggle, we struggle together, but guess what, we win. We also do that together. Eight more seconds. Four, three, two. Oh man, we're out of those. Take it into our abs. Oh, my arms. Oh, my arms. All right, <laughs> ready. Sit back, lift those feet off the ground if you got it. Hands are reaching forward, ready, set, and go. One arm goes up and overhead at a time. Ooh, let's work. Ba, 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 ba. Keep that chin up, chest up. Stay with it. 20 seconds. Again, if you ever need to drop those heels down, do. Remember, nose to toes, you wanna to keep those eyes up. Don't look down, look up. Keep that airway open so you can breathe. Final few, fight through every single one of them. Ready? Give me one more. <laughs> and okay, we get a nice long recovery. By long, it's only a minute, so let's be honest. All right, we're gonna take this and do a straight arm front raise. All right, so again, we're still working through those shoulders. Now, the nice thing here is that you can take one dumbbell. If you wanna hold the dumbbell and those arms are a little bit closer and you wanna work that straight through the center, go for it. If you'd rather go with two dumbbells, lifting up straight, you can. From there, we're gonna hit a single arm row. Now, you have some options with this row. One, if you want to row in a plank, right, you can hit that renegade row. If you're like, you know what, Ash, this is tons on the shoulders. I think I would rather do a split stance, single arm row. Both are an option. Guess what? Both are the perfect option because it's your decision. Okay, ready? I know some of you are like, we don't like renegade rows. We just don't. All right, do them standing always. All right, here we go. So I'm going to take one of my heavy dumbbells and then I'm going to row with two. All right, so here we go. Tall kneel. Let's raise. Now again, I'm doing these in a tall kneel so that we do what? We take away the legs. Now I'm holding on to one weight. There's always options. You can do two weights. We're working on the front side of that shoulder now with that raise. Woo. Now these are 35 second working intervals, so they're shorter than the last time. Ready, set, and rest, which also means we're going for quicker on that transition. Now, I'm gonna do a renegade row because I'm all about the challenge today. If you want it, go for it. My one hand is gonna be on the dumbbell. You're gonna row on the other side. Now, we can alternate which hand we row with. Again, if this is ever too much, right, step the right foot in. I'm, gonna, I'm rowing with my left, so you can hit that split stance row. Two options for you, but it's a single arm row. Either way, abs are involved. One is gonna be a little bit more obviously arm heavy because we're in that plank. Woo. Ready? Last one. And quick rest. Woo. Eight seconds, other side. Woo, yo. Not easy stuff. Here we go, ready. And let's get to work. No jumping today. No cardio today. Just strength today. So what do we say about these strength sets? If you're heading to the gym and you're looking for the perfect complement to maybe a little bit of cardio, or you're going on a little run after this, right? Or maybe you're just working strength today. That's cool. You have 10 seconds left. Whew. Stay with it. Ready, set, and rest. Good. My timer jumped there. All right, we're good. 25 seconds, we get to rest, we get to do it again. Time check. We're under 12 minutes away from our finish, yes? Whew. Front raise with a double row. Standing or in that plank. By the way, if you did it in a plank and you start to fail, go to standing. Own that failure. Here we go, weights through the center. Set. Tighten through the glutes. 
and hit the front raise. Woo! Ready to work. We showed up to work today. You guys notice Mia's not here. She was very uninterested in being on camera today. She was like, she needs a blowout or something. I don't know. She wants her hair done. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. She's like, no, mom, I'm gonna hang out back here. You do you, do you today. A few more seconds. Get one more in. All right, wait, goes down. Ooh, now here's the thing. Our last set is gonna be a burnout set. We're gonna do some biceps, triceps, and core. No core in this round, other than in your plank. Ooh, let's go. That's talking. Gotta get to working. Come on, sorry about that. <laughs> 35 second intervals. A little bit shorter than that first one. We worked for 45 seconds. Again, work to failure. If you find that failure, you better own that failure because it means that you tried so hard that you found your limit. And that takes a lot. That takes a hell of a lot. Ready, set, and come on out of it. All right, Woo. again, work your sets, own your sets. Here we go, one hand down, ready, lifting it. Now, you'll notice, right, one of my hands is on top of one of my dumbbells, and that's because I find right, that holding on to the weight sometimes bothers my wrist. So by elevating the base of my palm and letting my fingers rock forward, right, again, you can always roll your mat and use your mat as a little bit of a base or if you have a towel, there's always the options. Feet are wide, don't let your hips rotate. Keep that right hip facing down. 25 second recovery coming. Yes, I'm giving you rest in between these. We work rest and strength, ready? And, okay. Oh. One more time. So the first two sets, our main working sets. First one was longer. It was our long, it's our big main set. It's a little bit shorter, less movements because we're a little bit more fatigued. Our last round, we're only doing twice through. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, who's ready? Not me, grab your weight. Half tall kneel, ready, set, go. Woo. Oh man, good luck using your arms later. Front side of those shoulders. Halfway in the set. Toes are tucked, tush is tight, breath is working. Ready? Last one. And fire, that's what we call that. We call that fire, all right. Two more times, a little over 60 seconds of effort. You can do this. You're either standing or you're in that plank. I'm gonna go with my right arm this time first. Ready, let's go. Hips are down. You can dance in it. Hell, you know what? If you ever need to, you can always drop one knee down. Do you ever need to drop a leg? You can always drop that same side, right? You can drop your right knee and left leg is out. I mean, there's all kinds of options. Y'all know that. Keep the pole going low. I know you're probably saying some very mean things to me. Mean, but like lovely, right? Like tough love, three, two, one. It's okay, I can take it. <laughs> you're like, Ash, what's wrong with you? Oh my God, Ash. Here we go, ready, other side, last time, last time, last time, last time. Go. Go. Woo, breathe, don't give in. <laughs> 10 seconds. If you're not making noises, are you really struggling? Are you really fighting? Here we go. Ready, set, last one. And you are out of that. All right. Good news. All right? Drop to lighter weights if you need to. All right. Shoulders are going to get a bit of a break. 30 seconds before we get moving. We are going to be working curls. There's a lot of options on curls. Again, I'm gonna stay low in this tall kneel position. So you can either go hammers, you can add the rotation. If you ever want, you can always take it into a half kneel, work the wide curls from there. We're gonna take it into a tricep push. All right, we'll get there when we get there. We'll talk about it. It's not a push up, it's triceps. Here we go. Grab some weights, let's do the curls. Three, 
two. I'm gonna go strict, so which means I'm gonna go elbows in front, and then we're gonna lower and control. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds each. There is no rest between these two sets. We're going back to back. All right, as you're working these curls, try to keep that chest up. Now again, I'm doing a lot of kneeling positions today. If that's ever too much, take it into standing. 10 seconds to go. What we're gonna do is get into like a hollow kneeling plank. I'll say it again, hollow kneeling plank. Ready, set, and weight goes down. So here's what I want you to do. Knees, walk your hands forward. I want your hips forward. Hands forward, hips forward, hands forward, hips forward, good. Do me a favor, try to bend your elbows as much as you can. Maybe you touch the ground and then push the ground away. Tap, push. Notice my hips don't move, my abs stay in line. You can also do these standing on a wall. Or if you're not getting all the way down, that's okay. Take it out into that hollow and just work the bend. You don't actually have to touch the ground if that's too much. Back sides of the arms are working. Ready? Reverse crunch, three, two, one. Either you can hang on to one of your dumbbells overhead, or, right, you can always hold on to one of these weights if it's heavy enough, or you can always put your hands behind your head. Legs are gonna go out. Reverse the crunching, let's get to work. Again, I like to make a little hammock because I'm working with very minimal equipment here in the studio. So I just have the weights, which are not quite heavy enough for me to hold on to. So I'm gonna keep my elbows wide. My hands are gonna relax. I'll let my head relax. And I'm working that reverse crunch, five seconds. Four, this should feel really good. Three, two, we're up. One more time. Remember, no rest between these sets. This is it, final burnout. Grab those weights. Palms are forward and set and go. Let's work. <sighs> Tricep, bicep burnout. We don't do these a lot, but it is a burnout on those arms. <sighs> Last move with weights. 15 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. We got that tricep. Ooh, push, one more, and weight goes down. All right, remember, walk your hands out. You wanna be in a kneeling plank, but I want your hips forward, hands in front of you. Ready, and bend, tap, bend, tap. So we're working the back sides of those arms. Yes, we're still working the plank, but it's gonna be a little bit different as we bend those elbows. You can just work a tricep bend, 10 seconds. Ready, set, and we are out of that one. Oh, I don't know about y'all, but a reverse crunch to finish is like heaven. All right, hands behind your head. Let it sit heavy, legs go out, ready, and pull it in, shoot it out. Pull it in, shoot it out. work. Come on. 10 seconds. We have five, four, three, keep your knees in two and one. <laughs> awesome work. You made it. You survived. Your arms, maybe they didn't, right? Hopefully they're toast, all right. Give that lower back a few little circles. Take your time, slowing this down. Whoo, all right. You can take, uh, keep your left knee in, let your right leg extend. We're gonna do this more for the back, so we're gonna take our left leg across our chest. We're gonna open up a bit through the hip, but open up through that chest. This should feel nice for a few seconds on that left leg is in, and then we'll switch to the other side. Right knee comes in, left leg goes out. Whoo, and take it to the other side. Ooh, little stretch. Way to crest the spring training challenge, team. All of you were unbelievable in it. The nice thing is you can always go back and take those mobility classes again. Maybe take some of the body weight classes again. Oof, and rock and roll it up. Nice, all right, let's work a little bit through those arms. Let's open up those arms a bit. So here's what I want you to do. Walk your down to your elbows. You can also put your elbows on top of like a couch or a bench 
And then think about pulling your chest through your elbows. So doing this on the floor is a little bit harder because you're a little bit more limited with your working space, but you're really focusing on getting a lat stretch in underneath in that back. And nice, come all the way out of it. All right, let's get a big chest opener, shoulder opener here. So lay it all the way down, shoot your left arm out to the side. Your right hand is gonna be next to your chest like you're doing a push-up. Keep your legs together, and I just want you to press through that arm and stretch into your left shoulder. Option, you can make it a scorpion if it feels good to take your right leg behind you. Find an even deeper stretch in that chest. A little bit through that shoulder. And release it and switch to the other hand. Left hand is gonna be right beside your chest. Right arm is out into a T-shape. You're gonna press into that left hand. Again, option, you could take that left leg back behind you into that scorpion. Find that big chest opener. And nice work. All right, flip it on over onto your back. Last little stretch here. I want you to take your hands behind you as far as you can. Walk your legs out. And all I want you to do is try to open up your chest, push the ground away, and then just kind of cave in. And then try to think about pulling your shoulders in and pressing the ground away. Feel a little stretch through the back? You should, right? And then we'll do the opposite. We're light on the fingers, but we're gonna pull away with those shoulders. Now again, with this one, push the ground. So push with your hands, and essentially think about shrugging your shoulders. Just a nice little stretch through those shoulders. And nice. All right, come all the way out. Come up to standing. Let's do one little opener for that spine. So take a big breath in. I'm going to dive down, touch your toes. Whoo. Bend your knees, roll it up. Let's do this two more times. Ready? Big breath in. Exhale, touch the toes. Bend the knees, roll it up. Last time. Let's do it. Ready? All the way down, touch the toes. Bend the knees. We roll it up for four, three, two. Hands come all the way up to the top. Give me some energy through the center. Bring it on down into your heart and take it with you. 30 minutes of upper body and abs. Way to crush. I'll see you next time here in the Unstoppable Studio.